In today's life skill lesson, we're gonna teach you how to do the laundry. Welcome everyone to Powered and Protected by Rainbows. I am of course your host, Matt Haslam. Today on the show, we're starting a brand new series on our channel called Life Skills. And in this series, we're gonna teach you all the basic necessities of how to go about living as an adult. Just in case you're a kid growing up and you need this advice or you're out on your own and you need to know how to do this quite fast. We're gonna try to make these episodes as short as possible, but if you like this entire series and this idea, please go ahead and hit that like button so we know that you'd like the idea going forward. Comment down below LGBTQ friendly thoughts and maybe ideas for possible other episodes in the future. And also don't forget to share this video with others and subscribe to our channel for plenty of more great videos to come in season three of our show. Now let's get to it. So we're gonna grab my actual dirty laundry. Yes, I know. I'm not just doing a load just to do a load for the camera. I'm sorry, you know, but we're gonna open up the washer here and we're gonna put the clothes in. I know someone in the comments is gonna start debating that you should separate your lights and your darks and you should do that if you have a big enough load. Let's say you just got a brand new piece of clothing that's pretty dark in color. You don't want that piece of clothing, say for instance, this red shirt here, you don't want that bleeding its color into your lighter color items, such as, you know, this white t-shirt. You know, you don't want that red coming into that white and making it pink by the time it's done with the whole process of your laundry. You don't want that. So typically it is a good idea to separate your lights and your darks if you have big enough loads, or if you have a brand new piece of clothing that you just got. Run your brand new clothing through the wash a couple times on its own or with similar color items for a couple different different rinses and whole cycles here. And that way it allows that color to absorb completely into that piece of clothing without bleeding into your lighter color items. But once that article of clothing goes through the laundry a couple times and a couple different uses, well then it's pretty safe to allow it to go through the laundry with everything else. Now, in case you have items which are delicate in nature, you should always check those more delicate items and they're gonna have a tag on the inside of special uh, instructions on how to wash them. And even on your washer here, you're gonna notice that you have a delicate mode right there. And that delicate mode allows the entire cycle to spin at a lot lower rate down here, and that will allow your more delicate clothing, such as lingerie, to survive the load of laundry without being all torn up from a very rough back and forth cycle. Like I said, I'm gonna add all of my laundry here to one load because it's been in loads together before many, many times. I'm just gonna make sure it goes evenly around that center post and make sure that it is fairly evenly spread around the whole washer, and that way no parts are really sticking up or anything like, like that. You don't want one side sticking up more than the other. You want it all fairly even in there, and that way it gets evenly spread when you add your soap and your water to it. Now, another really important thing to keep in mind, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic here, is to make sure that you're washing your face mask just as much as you're washing your undergarments. If you have a cloth face mask like I do, this one actually gets rolled up and goes right around my head and then over my nose and my mouth. But you see, it also is around the back of my neck. And when I'm out on a really long day at work or at school, or if you're out and about running around and you're sweating, all of that sweat is accumulating on this on this cloth on the back of your neck as well as all over your face. So don't just wash this because of the COVID-19 pandemic going on right now. Wash it for many other reasons. Make sure that goes in there with your laundry and then close the door. Next step on the line here is we have to look at the size of the load. Now, in the washer right now, you can see it's about half full of what it could be. So it's going to be a medium load for us. If it was up fairly high around here or so, it would be a large load. And if it was a lot lower than what it is, then it would be a small load. 
but for right now, it's a medium load. We're gonna keep it on that. Now, I always wash all of my clothes on cold, cold water here. That's the water temperature that's gonna be inside the washer for your clothes to wash in. Um, and I always put it on that setting. But if you have special instructions that are on the tag inside of your article of clothing, well, then you want to choose warm, cold, or hot, cold. But for me, I always choose that one unless those instructions tell me otherwise. Now over here, I have a lot of different options. Delicate, uh, you can rinse and spin in case your clothes aren't really, are still soaking wet. Casual, just in case uh, special instructions tell you that. But for your everyday load of laundry, you're going to choose the normal, regular, right here. Now your washer could have completely different buttons here, but for the most part, they're going to say the same things. It could look differently here. It could have complete touch screens and technical aspects to it, like a huge computer. But for the most part, it's going to have the same options themselves. Now, now that we know what options we're choosing, now it's time to actually get our laundry detergent. Now for us here, we have this Arm & Hammer 40% more, I don't know. They're not a sponsor right now, but you know, hit me up if you wanna be a sponsor, just saying. Um, <laughs> so for this load, we have that. And you're gonna notice on this, they have directions of place container on its side, facing down. Typically in your house, it's going to be in a position where it's all ready for you because your parents or your grandparents or someone in the house does the laundry normally. Now, for this, you're gonna notice on these cups that come actually with the containers, typically they're on the container like that when it gets sold at the store, you take that container off and that is the container that you use in order to get the laundry detergent out of it because it already has a measuring cup attached to it. You're gonna notice on this, that there's one, two, and three, and four on this cup already marked there. So if you have a really small load, you're only gonna fill the laundry detergent to that line. More of a medium load, you might wanna choose two or three. But a full load, you wanna choose the four, the biggest cup there. And for us, we have a medium load right now. So we're going to fill this to the three mark And you notice I filled it right to that three line because my load is about a medium sized load. Now, once I have that all filled to the appropriate amount, now I'm going to drizzle it in in a circular motion all around all of my clothes. Now, you could in theory take this cup and wash it out with some water in a nearby sink like we have here, but you know, there's no harm in just letting it go into the washer itself because the washer, again, is going to only have cold water in it right now. And that's not going to melt this plastic. So I typically just take this little cup, throw it in the washer with my clothes. It's not gonna harm my clothes. Now, please don't do that if you have delicate clothes. Only do that if you have regular clothes like t-shirts, shorts, uh, towels, and blankets, that kind of thing. And you're gonna throw it in there. And that way that soap that's on the container itself that's stuck to it and you can't really pour it out, well, that soap is no longer wasted now. Now it's actually in the washer with everything else and it will be used. So now for this specific washer, we're going to hit this start button and it's going to start while the lid is closed. Now you could open it, but it has the special lock that will prevent it from spinning until you close it again. And that way you're not hurt while doing the laundry. That way a child can't fall in and be spun around and you know, be hurt or pass away because of the washer. So you wanna make sure this lid is closed before you hit that button. But once you hit that button, it goes through its cycle. Now typically for a washer, it takes about 40 minutes to about an hour to go through that full cycle. So we're gonna let it go through its regular cycle and we'll be right back. So now with the cycle complete and the light on cycle complete, we're gonna open up this lid and take out all of our still a little bit wet laundry, then throw it in to 
the dryer and that way you know it can get all nice and dry and unwrinkled and all good to wear yet again and the last thing in the washer is this little cup here again uh i just want to point out that it is completely clean and there's no more soap in it so my statement holds true that you can put it in there and it won't get damaged it won't damage any of your clothes as long as it's not delicates that you put it in with so it's all cleaned out now and now we can put it back on the side of our washer close the lid again because now we're done with the washer and now to the dryer now for the dryer you want to use what are called dryer sheets and these dryer sheets allow you to have your entire load of laundry not wrinkle near as fast on you when you're out about on a date at dinner with your family or wherever you're going your clothes won't wrinkle near as fast using dryer sheets if your family uses dryer sheets now you could use other products in your washer for the same purpose it depends on how your family does things but for mine we use dryer sheets which are relatively inexpensive and you just take one sheet out of the box and you throw it in anywhere to your load it doesn't really matter where in your load that dryer sheet goes because it's it's all going to be mixed around quite a bit once you close it back up here we're going to close that make sure it's locked and now you might assume that we're done we just start the dryer but the most important part of doing laundry and by far the most dangerous part believe it or not there is a dangerous part to it is making sure that your lint catcher is completely clean so in here or somewhere on your dryer they're going to have a little opening with a vent now on this you're going to notice there's a lot of leftover lint from the last load that went into this dryer now if you let your dryer go for two three loads at a time you're going to notice this gets completely filled and air can no longer escape your dryer to go out your window or wherever the vent is going for this dryer and that lets the heat escape from the dryer itself if this gets too blocked up that heat stays in your dryer and can very easily start a fire in your home so you want to make sure to take this out and we just have a brush standing by for this kind of purpose just simply clean off all of that lint off of the whole vent there into the garbage you should have a garbage can nearby your dryer to do this so we're just going to take it now it's relatively clean in the middle and as long as it looks that clean you can put it back into your dryer and that way air can escape once again this has to be done every single load no matter what to make sure that you don't start a fire in your home because that would not be good and now it's time to actually designate all of our settings for the load that we have in the dryer right now and for this one this is typically for this dryer at least the settings we want to use on your dryer it might look a little bit different but you want to time your dry for an automatic dry of very dry and that way you get all of that water out there it's a little bit longer of a process it takes about an hour for all of your clothes to get dry in the dryer but at the end all of your clothes will be right and ready for you to wear which is great now let's say for instance if you had a delicate load of laundry like lingerie or uh, different items like a coat or anything like that you might want to use the fluff air which is down here that's that gray one at the very bottom and you might want to use that for 30 minutes instead of an automatic dry which actually heats your clothes inside but again for our purpose here we're going to use very dry now for the temperature we typically use medium here but if you were doing a very delicate load you might want to choose low temperature for that load and that way it doesn't get too hot in there to shrink your clothes um, let's say you have a brand new shirt that you're just doing for the first time maybe you want to use a lower temperature and that way that shirt or that pair of pants doesn't shrink on you that first load through then wrinkle shield now i typically have that turned off 
wrinkle shield on a dryer just means basically it goes through a couple cycles every so many minutes if you don't get the laundry out of the dryer in time to fold it. So it's sort of that guard for you in case you get busy for a little bit and you forget about it or something like that. For me, I typically leave that off because it wastes less energy than in my household. But then this is actually your button to start your dryer up on this specific dryer. Now again, your dryer and your washer might be different than these two, but this is how these work and typically no matter how technical your washer and dryer are, they have about the same settings and the same names of the same settings. So, I mean, it's not all too different no matter what washer or dryer you have at home. So I'm just going to press this button to start it and now the process is gonna take about an hour and I guess we'll wait another hour, yet another hour. And now that the drying cycle is complete on the dryer, it is time to open up the door and take all of the clothes out. Just make sure that the clothes are still warm when you take them out and that way they don't get wrinkled still in the dryer if they get back to cold before you fold them all up, which is our next step. But we're gonna take them all out here and you can put them in the same exact basket as you brought them to your laundry room. That's perfectly fine as long as there's no dirty clothes in there still. So we're gonna take all these now clean clothes and I will see you back in my bedroom where we are going to fold all of this laundry. As a little side note here, make sure that you get the dryer sheet that you put in earlier. It's just gonna be wrinkled up like this and you can simply toss that in the garbage bin. Watch Powered by Rainbows season three only on MHP TV.